Hi, this is Justin Brown, and this is Hodgkin's Lymphoma Diary number seven. Uh, it's been about five, six weeks since the last diary entry, um, and now we are into December. Today is actually my birthday. Uh, made it to another one. Six months ago, we weren't quite sure if that might happen or not, but here we are. I'm 38 years old, uh, but more importantly than that, it is just two days uh, from my very last chemo treatment. Um, the last one will be on Thursday, it's Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow I'll go and have the blood work done and get the last dose of poison on Thursday and then uh, start the process of putting this all behind me once, uh, once I get through that final trip to hell. Um, it would seem that uh, kind of by New Year's I should have uh, rallied up and uh, probably been okay and then uh, can set a start getting back into the normal things. Um, the plan is for me to do this dose on Thursday, and then I wait a month, and then we will do a final PET scan, um, and hopefully I will get the thumbs up and the all clear that uh, we are done with this process, and uh, the medication has done its job, and um, life goes on. Um, after, uh, after we get that, the port will come out. I can't wait to get this thing out of me. They lie to you when they tell you that you get used to it because you never get used to it. Having a foreign object stuck inside your chest with it stitched to the muscle and stitched to the neck where it goes down, it always hurts. It always bugs you. Sometimes you, you kind of don't think it's there, but it always comes back to haunt you later. So I'm very excited to uh, get that thing out of me in, in just over a month. Um, if you've been watching this from the beginning, you'll see that uh, I'm starting to grow some hair again. I was able to grow my goatee back, and uh, I still only have to shave about once a week. Um, yeah, maybe twice a week now at this point. But the hair comes through really fine. It's really easy to shave off compared to my whole life. I had this big old German hair coming through, and it's uh, you know down one way and up, 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 up against the grain, against the grain all the way through, and kind of kind of fighting with the thick hairs, but. Um, uh, these ones have all grown back really easy, so it's just kind of one swipe and it, it's done. So maybe it'll stay that way. And I'm starting to grow it back on top of my head too, uh, which is nice. It's uh, kind of uh, kind of more fuzzy than anything else. They uh, warned me that when my hair grows back in, um, it might be different than it was before. It might be uh, completely curly or it might come through a different color or something like that. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens at this point. Um, so uh, what's gone on in the last six weeks? Uh, had to go to the hospital for a couple days. That sucked. Uh, I was really trying to get through this whole process without any more trips to the ER or the hospital for any reason. But uh, we had the big campfire that uh, ravaged paradise and it brought all the, the smoke and the ash and everything down here. Um, and after just a couple days of it, uh, I was getting pretty sick. Uh, and then on top of being sick, I went and had another dose of chemo. And... Um, by Tuesday, usually that's the day I'm starting to rally up and and uh, feel better, and uh, I wasn't feeling any better, and I was getting sicker and sicker, and finally ended up back in the ER, and they told me that I had pneumonia in both lungs, uh, and then a couple days later, they added bronchitis on top of it, uh, and then rhinovirus, which is, I guess, what causes most of the common cold, but... Um, yeah, so instead of pneumonia in one lung, I had pneumonia in both lungs and then bronchitis and, and everything else. So it was really hard to breathe and they uh, put me in the, the cancer ward of the hospital for five days and pumped me full of antibiotics pretty much nonstop until I started feeling better. And then uh, kicked me loose and now my, uh, my, my daily pills, I've got one extra one in there, this big old antibiotic horse pill that I have to take until, uh, until the port comes out. Um, a big old uh, antibiotic just to make sure that I, that I don't get sick again. Um, but as long as I can basically make it till, uh, till Christmas and New Year's, um, I'll probably be okay. I think uh, I don't think any other illnesses are going to come as a result of the, the, the neutropenia, um, or not the neutropenia, but the uh, ah, chemo brain. I can't think of what I'm, what I'm talking about. Yeah, it is neutropenia. Um, it being neutropenic for when... Uh, you get your chemo and your blood cell count drops. Those uh, those neupogen shots, um, uh, they really they, they seem to help. And the whole time I was in the hospital, we were expecting me to go neutropenic, and I never did. My blood never went lower than like three um, or three point one or something, which is good. So, all right, I guess it's done its job. Um, I don't really have anything else to add under that. I'm really, uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to being done with this and, and putting it behind me and uh, 
you know, one one of the good things I can see in the in the reflection of the camera here, having this facial here, is it hides how fat I'm getting. When I uh, came out of the hospital, I was 163 pounds, and uh, now I've ballooned up to about 190, and uh, I don't like that very much. I, I worked really hard before getting this diagnosis to drop a whole bunch of weight, and even though I'm only uh, I'm about 13 pounds away from my original goal of 180. Uh, seeing myself at 170 and then 165 and 163 wasn't too bad, so I might have a new goal of getting all the way back down there. And I've got a whole bunch of brand new uh, exercise equipment uh, waiting for me to, to feel better to uh, get started on that journey again. Chicken will become the enemy once more, uh, but well, we'll get through it. Um, that's really it. No, uh, nothing really other special to add or anything really to say to kind of a help out anyone who might be watching this for their own um, needs other than, uh, you know, the the end does come. Um, I really, really, really do not want to have to go and get this last dose. Uh, the, the side effects do last a little longer. Um, I, originally, I was kind of rallying uh, Sunday, Sunday night, Monday afternoon when I'd start feeling better. Now I'm not feeling so good until Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, so it does uh, it does kind of prolong. So I, I assume that this one will be the longest one. Um, but we'll get through it and uh, hopefully get back to work soon. Um, can't wait for that and uh, kind of get back to regular life. But uh, until then, I, uh, I'll probably do another post um, not until uh, not until the the final PET scan and maybe when the port gets removed to kind of go over how all that went. Uh, I, I guess if I get some bad news, maybe maybe something sooner. Um, but that's it for now. So all right, guys, take care.